Greetings folks, I'm Dan Mack. And I'm Chris Mack. And we're here for another episode of Shred Shack Tries, and this time we're trying tea from the Satanic Tea Company from Midnight. Satanic Royal Tea. Alright, so we brewed this about uh, 10 minutes ago, some odd, but just before we, um, you know, totally wore the same exact clothes we did for the last video. Right. Yeah. Continuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, Satanic Royal Tea contains black tea leaves, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, anise, peppercorn, clove, and honey chunks. Now, you were taking a whiff of this a moment ago, and you said it smells kind of sweet. I said it said, yeah, I thought it felt, I thought it smelled kind of sweet. It actually, like, the tea leaves, the dry tea leaves smell like a already brewed tea with honey in it. So with the honey chunks in there, I can imagine that's what something what along the lines. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it definitely smells pleasant, to say the least. I like the color of it already. Yeah. I like a darker tea. Like a, like sometimes like the lighter color teas I'm not a big fan of. I like a like a dark tea. So you're not you're not a green tea-ish type of person. I mean, I will drink it, but it's not my favorite. No. Well, this um, this um, Lindsay, my my wife said that uh, this is likely close to a chai tea um, in, in properties. Her being my go-to expert on tea, so we're gonna <laughs> so we're gonna see how uh, how she fares on that. And this should still be fairly hot. Like I said, we just we just brewed it about 10, 15 minutes ago. Okay, now when you when it's made like that, when uh -huh. you smell it, you can definitely smell hot. Oh really? Oh yeah. Like it's 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 like right up in there, right? Huh? up in there. Like nice. absolutely just like good good. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you can smell the sweetness. Yeah. You can actually kind of see it floating around in it too. Like there's definitely some kind of um, properties that are like floating around in it, like the honey chunks or like some of the cinnamon maybe. No, I thought that was just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with honey chunks. <laughs> sure. I thought I just had a dirty no, one. It, it smells really good. It does, yeah. Oh, it's still hot. <laughs> Well, at least it's at least it's not the same hot as uh, the Night Demon hot sauce, mm. which totally did not just film five minutes. Ago. No, totally not. Totally not. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's good. That is good. I think if I would, I'm not a big tea drinker or, or know much about teas in general, but I think black tea probably is my favorite. Only because like most of the ones that we've tried that have black tea base are usually very good to me. Yeah. And this is no exception. If I'm making a cold brew tea, I'm using black tea. Mm -hmm. Like just cheap shit black tea. Now this I wouldn't I would make cold brew out of but like a small amount because uh, yeah, I mean you'd have to use a, a bowl of Yeah, I'd probably, probably, I'd probably have to use the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. And when we do the when we do the half gallon mason jar of teas at home, yeah. we do like eight bags of eight tea bags for oh, that okay. half gallon. So oh, oh yeah, I do ten because I'm, I'm insane. Mm. Um, but yeah, thus far it has been up here from our expert. No, I just I'm just curious about the no, 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 no. We're you're off screen now. We're getting the off screen opinion. Doesn't it taste like it already has some honey in it? Yes, it does. It does have honey in it. Uh, I'm just saying, like, you yeah. can, you, like it's, it's it's definitely in smell and in yeah. taste is noticeable. Now I just want to burn the shit out of it. Like I really do. Don't burn the shit out of it. <laughs> That's what actually, I do. Actually, you know what? It's satanic. Burn the shit out of it. Yeah. It's already burnt. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good. Hmm. Yeah, my, my my mouth still needs a call from from everything, but um, I would I would absolutely just throw in like a single Splenda and drink this as is. Yeah, That's I mean I'm also I'm, I'm starting to get like the um, like looking at the ingredients list. I'm I'm starting to like to taste like a little bit of that clove taste, mm -hmm. a little bit of the anise. Like I know what that tastes like. Um, ginger not so much, but definitely definitely like the clove, the anise, and the honey for sure. I can taste the clove. Um, and I, I can't. I can't really sense the cinnamon. That could just be yeah, you know, my, yeah. My senses at this point, but you know the definitely the uh, the clove aspect to it. Mm -hmm. I, I can. I can get. A, I can get a taste for just because I feel like like even in small amounts because it's like the second to last ingredient on there that has a strong taste. It most certainly does. Yeah, yeah it most certainly does. So, 
Um, but yeah, this is this is definitely going to be a good one. Yeah, for absolutely. And I like the fact that it, you know, like when I when I drink when I drink teas, when I drink black teas, obviously they're just straight black teas. The this has its own kind of built-in automatic sweetness. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't need much yeah. more than that if you're a type of person who actually has you know sweeter teas. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I like it. And there's a number on this batch number forty-one, number Woo! forty-one, right here. So very good year. So suck it, number forty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, this is really, this is really good. Um, I, I, again, with most of Satanic Tea Company's, um, uh, products thus far, we've been, we've been very pleased. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I think only one we were kind of, kind of par with. Uh, but again, this is, again, it's, it's, it's straightforward because like, because it's based in black tea and it just kind of adds a few little extra things that you, one may add on their own, but it's like, it does it for you already. So, yeah. Yeah. So, but no, it's gonna like it. Same. So I'm not sure if this is still available from uh, the Satanic Tea Company. I know that they kind of have things come and go in their uh, in their uh, orders and whatnot. They always have plenty of other uh, their own flavors and whatnot. But with the metal artist, you really gotta keep your eye on things. Um, so this one um, was a snag. <laughs> so and. Um, Again, when we try another tea next, I mean, Satanic Tea Company keeps, keeps, or has kept, so, you know, rolling them out. So, the next tea will be another one from Satanic Tea Company. Awesome. Um, and the next video that we do will be a, another coffee video. Woo! Um, and one that we got fairly recently. Um, not that we have a shortage of coffee. In <laughs> fact, I'm saying this now. It's this. We're recording this in June of 2023. 2024 is likely to mostly be coffee. Nice. Because I have that much coffee. Awesome. So, um, but yeah, that's just for the future. For the right now, if you can find this, definitely get some. Give it a try. It's really good. Uh, if not, come over to my house. Just not before eight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and uh, otherwise, um, I'm Dan Mack. And I'm Chris Mack. And we are The Slime.